Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. In the last video, we have discussed about how to complement a long wave and how to complement a DFA. Now we will discuss about how to reverse a long wave. Okay, and then we will discuss about how to reverse a DFA for the given long wave to find the uh, finite automata for the long wave L2. Okay, so now we will see what is meant by reversal of a long wave L2. Let me explain the reversal of a long wave with an example. Long wave L1 contains strings start with A and ends with B. So they are saying that if any string which belongs to long wave L1, the string should start with A and ends with B. So what is the long wave L1 consists of the strings? The L long wave L1 consists of the strings of AB, AA, A can be start with a single B. There is no restriction on the number of A's and number of B's and the length of the string also there is no restriction. It just should start with a A and it should end with a B. Okay. That's all. so it is an infinite long wave. Now I want to find a reversal of a long wave for L2 of a L1. Meaning is that I want to find a long wave L2 which is a reversal of a long wave L1. So what is meant by reversal of a long wave L1? If you reverse the strings which belongs to long wave L1 and place them in long wave L2, you will get the reversal of a long wave L2. Let me repeat again. What are the strings which are possible in long wave L1? You just reverse them and place it in long wave L2. So let me find out. Reversal of the string is BA. Reversal of this string is B A A and what about this one B A A B B A so on. Now if you find the relation here, here it is starting with A and ending with B. Here it is starting with B ending with A whereas here it is starting with A ending with B. Here it is starting with B ending with A. So if I say reversal as it is starting with A and ending with B, now the reversal of the long wave will be starting with B, ending with A. So this long wave L2 starts with B, starts with B and ends with A and ends with A. So this is the reversal of a long wave. So if you just reverse the strings which belongs to long wave L1 and place it in the long wave L2, you will get the reversal of the long wave L1. So we will discuss with the DFA. So I want to construct a DFA over alphabets A comma B. See, even here the long wave L1 consists of alphabets A comma B only. Okay. So now we will construct the minimized DFA which starts with A and ends with B. Then we will go for the reversal. Now if you see that you have a Q0, what is the smallest string possible in this long wave L1 is AB. So you take A and you write the B, you should go to a state called Q2 which is a final state. So I have taken the smallest string from the initial state Q0 on A I reach it to the Q1 on B I reach it to the Q2 state, Q2 is a final state. Now whether it is a complete DFA, no it is not a complete DFA, Q0 on B what will happen? Now if you see that any string which does not start with B, in starting it is there anywhere B, no even some people can see sir single B is allowed, no it is not allowed, why any string it should start with B whereas here it is starting with B and ending with B, so it is starting and ending with same symbol. This string is does not belong to long wave L1. So what I can say any string which belongs to long wave L1 should not start with B. If it should not start with B in the minimized DFA what I can make it on B I should go to a state which is a dead state. What is meant by dead state? From this state you cannot reach to the final state. Okay. Or I can say it cannot reach to any other state also. Now Q0 on A and B is finished. Now Q1 what on A we will see. If you see that AB will be accepted because it is starting with ending with B. AAAB should be accepted meaning is that still it is starting with A and ending with B. Even 2ABs also should be accepted. In, I can say that any number of A's you can get and if you get a B you should accept. So single AB it is accepting if on A on another AB it should be accepted A 
टू इयर्स बी शुड बी एक्सेप्टेड ए थ्री इयर्स बी शुड बी एक्सेप्टेड सो मीनिंग इज दट वन यू सी ए ए एनी नंबर ऑफ एयर्स कैन कम एंड आफ्टर दैट इफ यू गेट ए बी यू शुड एक्सेप्ट इट ओके सो क्यू वन इज फिनिश ए ऑन बी वी हैव रिप्रेजेंटेड नाउ क्यू टू वाट विल हैपन क्यू टू let me see how you have reached to the q2 state take the smallest string the smallest string is ab once you got the b if you get any number of b still it is ending with the b only are you able to understand how you reach to the state q2 you have reached to the state q2 by taking the string called ab after that any number of b comes also still it is ending with b so i should accept if i should accept i should reach to the final state which is a q2 here okay now what will happen on a now how you reach to the q2 by seeing the smallest string called ab now if i see a a lot of people will think it is wrong but there may be a possibility after a there can be a b can come now if you see that it is starting with a ending with b so it is belongs to long ways l1 the string belongs to long ways l1 so my dfa should accept so meaning is that if you see a b after that if you see a a you should wait for another b then only you should accept so q2 on a i should go for q1 so that after that a i will wait for the b i can wait for the b if i will get a b i will accept if i get another a i will not accept it is it clear we will take a small string and we will check it whether it is right or wrong okay we will take a a b b a b okay anyway i have not taken a small string i have taken a string of length 6 we'll check it no problem let me take some time but i my objective is that you should understand the concept so i will take the string now take tell me whether the string belongs to long ways l1 or not it is starting with a and ending with b so the string belongs to long ways l1 what what my dfa should do my dfa should accept it when i can say that my dfa is accepting from the initial state and parsing the entire string i should reach to some of the final state any final state i should reach here you have only one final state so you should reach to the q2 then only i can say that the string is accepted by the dfa let me check it q not on a where i am going i am reaching to the state called q1 okay now q1 on a i am still in the state q1 only q1 on b q2 q2 on b q2 only are you able to follow it or not q2 on a i am reaching to q1 q2 on a i am reaching to q1 q1 on b q1 on b i reach it to state q2 which is a final state so i can say that my dfa will accept this string so i can say that this is correct we'll take a counter example okay a b a i will take it should accept or not it should not accept because the string does not belongs to long ways l1 q not on a it is reaching to state q1 q1 on b it is reaching to state q2 q2 on a it is reaching to state q1 now it is reaching to a q1 which is a non final state so i can say that my dfa is not accepting the string aba so i can say that it is accepting the strings which belongs to long ways l1 and it is not accepting the strings which does not belongs to long ways l1 so i can say that it is a correct dfa for the given long ways l1 now we will see we will have to reverse the long ways if i reverse the long ways then what it will be long ways l2 should start with b okay and ends with a if i reverse it it should start with b and ends with a okay ba ba a okay b a a all these things now if you see that how can i reverse this dfa we have discussed i will just directly tell the reverse procedure instead of constructing this one okay now if you see that how i can reverse the dfa because this is the dfa for long ways l1 now if i reverse this long ways l1 i got the long ways l2 so how can i reverse this dfa the procedure is very simple the step 1 is let me write the steps here or let me write here the step 1 is that you have to make the make the 
initial state as final state and final state as initial state final state as initial state so the step one is that you should make the initial state as a final state and final state as initial state okay now step two is that okay you reverse the edges okay reverse the edges what is meant by reverse of the edges i will discuss with an example so let me discuss the step one make the initial state as final state and final state as initial state and reverse the edges so i hope you have understood the step one and step two i request you to pause the video and note down this point now i will discuss these two steps with an example for this one okay now let me write the how many states are there four states are there let me write them q0 q1 and you have a q2 and you have a d okay now what is the initial state here q0 is the initial state here so you make them at as a final state now the step one is that if you have a initial state make it as a final state and what is the step one consists of also final state you should make it as a initial state now how can i make q2 as an initial state i will write an edge coming towards the state q2 so i have done the initial state as a final state final state as an initial state what is the step two reverse the edges if you see that a is coming from q0 to q1 now you make it to q1 to q0 similarly here it is going to q2 to q1 to q2 so you make it as q2 to q1 just you are reversing the edge side now here it is going as q2 to q1 you make it as a q1 to q2 okay and then here it is a loop if you reverse the loop also you will get the same thing or you can if you want the symbol is like this sir just for my satisfaction i will change like this even it is a loop also just a okay now this is also loop it will looks like this okay does anything else we have to change yeah it should be changed and this direction it should be changed if you see that we will see how many edges are there this is the first edge i changed this is the second edge i changed third edge i changed fourth edge i have changed fifth edge i have changed and d we have changed this one so i have done i have calculated the dfa means complement of reverse of the dfa m1 so i have just done the reversal process of the m1 and i got the m2 okay now we will see whether any unreachable states are there or not if you see that when i can say a state is unreachable state from the initial state if i cannot go to the state then i will say that it is a unreachable state or you need to find dead states also what is meant by dead state from that state if you are able not able to go to final state it is a dead state but we will not eliminate the dead states but we will eliminate the unreachable state see even when we are minimizing the dfas we will have at least one if the original dfa consists of one dead state we'll keep one if original dfa consists of two d dead states i will make it into a one dead state so if you have some number of dead states in the dfa you should have at least one dead state in the minimized dfa also so you should have a dead state if it is there in the original but if you see that d now it is becoming as an unreachable state why from the initial state q2 i cannot able to reach to the state d whereas here from q0 i can reach to the state d so it is it is a reachable state here and it is a dead state here but it when it comes to here it is still a dead state and uh, now it is not a dead state is it clear from d you can reach to the q0 but what may i want to say it it becomes as an unreachable state from q2 i cannot able to reach to the state d so i can eliminate the unreachable states okay now we will see the first thing can it accept the strings which starts with b and ends with a okay can it accepts ba we will check it from the initial state q2 
on B, I am going to Q1. Okay, from Q1 on A, I am reaching to Q0, which is a final state. So it is accepting the strings, which is starting with B and ending with A. Okay, is it clear? Now my first, so I can say that it is accepting. Now my first question is that, whether it is a DFA or not. Why I am saying that I am checking whether it is a DFA or not. We have removed some states and the edges also. So we will check Q2 on A. Any move is there. Q2 on B it is going to Q2. So there is a transition is there. Q2 on B is going to Q2. Q2 on A. Previously Q2 on A is going to Q1. But when we change the direction of the edge Q2 on A there is no transition. Q2 on A there is no transition. Now Q1 on A is there, Q1 on B it is not there, Q1 on B it is not there and Q0 on A it is not there, on B it is not there and even Q1 on A, okay we will not discuss about the NFA, only I want to say is that from Q2 on A you don't have a move. Q0 on A and B, you don't have a move. So I can say that I should not call it as a DFA. Because there are, if you see that what is the property of DFA from a state, by taking all the alphabets or any of the alphabets, you should go to some state. That is the property of a DFA. Q on Epsilon, you should go to a state Q, which is belongs to this one. Okay. So that is the property. So whereas if you see that Q2 on A, you don't have a move. Q0 on A and B, you don't have a move. So I cannot call it as a DFA. Okay. What it will be called, I will discuss later. When I introduce the concept called NFA, I will discuss it. Why it is an NFA also, I will discuss. But right now, I will say that it is not a DFA. So the, my thing is that, my whatever I, point I want to say is that, it will accept the strings which belongs to long ways L2. If you see that BA, it is accepting. BAA also it will accept. You can check it. What are the strings which are belongs to long ways L2 will accept? Or I can say that what are the strings you reverse it from the L1, it will be accept. So if you reverse a DFA, it may be a DFA or it may not be a DFA. But it will accept the strings which belongs to the reversal of the long ways L1. Okay, so I hope you have understood if you how can you do the reversal of a long ways and how can you do the reverse of a DFA and if you do the reverse of a DFA, let me write it, if you write reverse the DFA, maybe you get a DFA or you may not get a DFA. You may get a DFA or you may not get a DFA. That is what my point I want to highlight. Okay, you take few more examples and solve by yourself reversing and check it whether you are also getting the same kind of answer or not okay i hope you are understanding all the videos if you really like my teaching please press the like button if you have any positive feedback if you want to give any positive feedback for any uh, video please give it it will motivate me to teach further if you want to give any suggestions or any negative comments feel free to give them so that i will improve myself and coming to the sharing the videos, I request you to share the videos with your friends so that they can also learn the concepts and subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you so much.